Okay, let's find the basis of this set of uh, two by two matrices. We have uh, four elements in the set and they're two by two matrices and we wanna find the basis for the set. So the first thing we gotta do is identify each of the matrices uh, as a vector and then set up a linear combination and uh, solve it, okay? So we're gonna identify this matrix by the vector one, this matrix by a second vector, this matrix by a vector three, this matrix by a vector four, okay? I'm gonna set up a linear combination, just standard procedure, C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus C3, V3, plus C4, B4, equals the zero vector, okay? So we're just gonna substitute the values of the Vs, and we're gonna get a linear combination. Here, let me scroll down. Okay, that would do, that would be fine. Okay, I guess this is fine right here. We said C1, we write down the first matrix, plus C2, we write down the second matrix, plus C3, we write down, oops, a little crooked there, the third matrix, plus C4, and this is the fourth matrix, and it's equals to the zero vector. You know what the zero vector is <clears throat> for matrices? Is this one. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, so there we go. We got to combine all those C's. We got to add them up into one single matrix. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get some space here. Okay. So we're going to get, let me see if this is okay right here. Okay. Let's just scroll down one more down. There. So we're going to have this matrix. We have C1 plus 0, C2 plus C3 minus C4. And right here we have 0, C1 plus C2 plus C3. I'm going to explain what I'm doing in a moment in case you're lost. Close down this matrix right here. Right here we have 0, Z1 plus C2 plus C3 plus C4, C1 plus 0, Z2 plus. Okay. And that's equals to the zero matrix. Okay, uh, basically what I'm doing here is I added this C1, I multiplied this C1 times this one, which is C1. And there you go, that's the C1. And then I multiply this C2 times zero, and I write it down right there. And it's part of the first terms, you know, the first terms only. C3 times the first term, and I write it there, right there. C4 minus one, write it right there. And that's the first row, first column. This is the first row, first column. I'm writing the first row, first column of all these matrices. And that's equals to zero. And likewise, I do the same for the rest. So like in this case, if I wanna do the, the second row, second column is this one. So C1 times one is C1. C2 times zero 
there you go that's the result c3 times one there you go that's the result c3 and c4 times minus one we just write down minus c4 and that's equals to zero second row second column okay so now let me scroll down because these things are big and I need space all the time. There you go. Let me adjust this right here. See if it fits. One second. About right here. C1. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still getting used to this <laughs> so I have this I'm gonna tell where I got this from okay so this equation is obtained from the first row first column first row first column is this number and it's equals to this zero and that's that so now I'm gonna do um, the second row first column so that would be this 0 c1 plus 1 c2 plus 1 c3 plus 1 c4 equals to 0 so that's the uh, <clears throat> second row first column see is this one right here and it's equals to this 0 okay so now we're going to do the first row, first column. I'm sorry, the first row, second column. <laughs> so let's do that. 0, C1 plus 1, C2 plus 1, C3 plus 1, C4 equals to 0. And lastly, we're going to do the second row, second column. 1, C1 plus 0, <clears throat> minus 1c4 equals to 0 all right so these are four unknowns 1 2 3 4 unknowns and four equations 1 2 3 4 and we have to solve this simultaneously in order to be able to solve for the c's to find the values of c's so this is nothing more than a homogeneous matrix. So let's write it down. That's what it is. It's going to be a matrix <clears throat> that's going to be equal to zero. Zero, 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 zero. All right. So we're going to write down the coefficients of the C's. So we have one, zero, 0, 1. So, this are the coefficients of this. This C1 is 1. This is 0, 0, 1. There you go. 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Let's keep going. 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1. Minus 1. This is the easy part because we're not doing any math. <laughs> so, you see this minus 1. Is this minus one right here? This one is this one. This one is this one. This minus one is this minus one. And this zeros is just this zeros. Okay. So we're gonna perform elementary row operations on this matrix. Uh, so let's get some space so we can work on it. Okay. Uh, let's do it right here. Okay, so if you perform elementary row operations, we are going to end up with this matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0. Let's augment the matrix. Okay. 
Okay, so we can see the leading ones because it's in reduced row echelon form. Uh, the leading ones is this one and this one. And so therefore this represents the first vector and the second vector. And so <clears throat> what that means is that the first two vectors are linearly independent. So let me tell you, let me show you what I mean. Okay. So these are the first two vectors. This is a vector and this is a vector. And so those two vectors are linearly independent and they are a basis for the whole set. And, um, well, there you have it. That's the whole problem.